Masters, there was one thing we were all certain of. By now, we'd all be going to work like this. The jetpack was the ultimate sci-fi fantasy. And in 1961, that fantasy became reality when the Bell rocket belt first took to the skies. But although it debuted almost half a century ago, stuntman Eric Scott is one of only a handful of rocket belt pilots in the world today. It's like learning how to stand on a ball with a fire hose turned on. It's just instantly superheated steam, and then it's just hot air by the time it comes out. It's an expansion rate of 70,000 particles per second of expansion that that thing generated, which is equivalent to about 800 horsepower. It's about like an F1 race car, actually. It was the Germans who first started developing the jetpack during World War II as a way of getting troops over minefields or rivers. The US military acquired the prototype after the war and decided to develop it. But they eventually came to the conclusion that helicopters were a much more practical proposition. It's the propulsion system that stopped the rocket belt from becoming commonplace. The large fuel tanks only carry enough propellant for 30 seconds of flight meaning it's forever destined to remain an expensive and impractical novelty. But that won't stop it remaining every commuter's dream. When you see something